Tyler, how are you this morning? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? I'm I'm doing great. Do you have a favorite basketball team? Uh, the Oklahoma City Thunder. Oh, okay. All right. So, because they were in Seattle and now in Oklahoma City, so you have to root for them? No, nah, see, it's kind of hard because, you know, I can't really root for them, but I'm from Oklahoma, so oh, it's kind of a 50-50. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's fair. That makes sense. Did Oklahoma recruit you? Uh, no, they did not. <laughs> Ooh. Did Oklahoma State recruit you? No, they did not. <laughs> oh, man. Did you get both of those schools when you were at K-State? Uh yeah, we beat we beat them. I think it was two to two. That wasn't what the series was. But did you score? Oh yeah, I had to <laughs> score. Yeah, when you're playing against your hometown, who didn't recruit you, you got to make sure you score. And I and I think we ended up going out with wins against both of them. Too. Look at you! Look at you! All right, here's another serious question. I'm worried about your quarterback's dancing skills because he's going to get married to Ciara. <laughs> Is there a way to have an intervention where some of you guys can help Russell Wilson learn to dance? Uh, Well, I think if we could help him, it wouldn't be me because I struggle with rhythm myself. (laughs) Um, I would have to say it would maybe have to be Kevin Smith or Doug Baldwin or somebody that could be able to help him out with the dance moves because obviously there are certain moves that you got to be able to learn whenever you get married. Okay, but how is it he's able to perform the way he does as a quarterback and the dude can't dance? Oh, I mean, you don't need rhythm to be be able to be a quarterback. All you got to do is be smart and elusive. (laughs) I think that's exactly what he is, and I think that's what he does. He he just stays true to what he does best, and that's what makes him so great. Have you received an invitation to the wedding? Uh, Not yet. (laughs) Okay. But I'm sure I will. I'll, I'll see him next week. Oh, so you 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 assume you're going to get invited to the wedding? I mean, we we shall see. <laughs> well, you are one of his favorite targets there, so I would think. So I don't know. Does he put the receivers up closer or his linemen up closer to the wedding party? Uh, I don't know. I might say linemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's they, they get watches. They you know you buy them watches. He Russell doesn't get the, his receivers anything, does he? For Christmas? Uh. No, he takes care of us, but, you know, you got to make sure you take care of the linemen first because those are the people that's protecting you the most. Well, wait, what did he get you for Christmas? Uh, what did he get us? He got us tickets <laughs> to fly wherever we want, so. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so, I mean, he takes care of us, too. You know, we like take that. care of him. He trusts us when he throws us the ball, so we got to, you know, make the plays whenever he gives it to us. And, you know, he shows his appreciation of us very well. All right. Uh, we're talking to Tyler Locke of the Seahawks wide receiver and kick and punt returner. Here's the big question. Why do the receivers point to their wrist when they score a touchdown? Oh, because it, cause it's all about, it's about that time. You know, um, you never know when it's going to be your time. But every time, you know, we get the ball, we point at that wide and say it's about that time to start eating. Oh, I like that. Okay. All right, that that was the big question that uh, Seahawk fans wanted answered. So now that we've uh, we've settled that, let's talk about the kick re, uh, return. When you first heard the rule that uh, the touchback rule, you know, you're making yeah. a living here. So what did you think? Uh, I mean, it doesn't really bother me. I mean, um, as long as Coach Carroll gives me the green light to keep on returning, <laughs> I'm gonna keep on doing it. You know, if he tells me to stay in. You know, I stay in, but, you know, I honestly think there's ways to beat around the the rule, meaning, you know, a lot of times when you watch last season, some teams didn't even make it to the 20-yard line. Yeah. And so they was telling them to take a knee. So, you know, I think some kickoff coaches are going to say just kick it one yard deep in the end zone where they're going to return it. Because if people were barely making it to the 20, you know, it, it makes no sense to kick a touchback so it can go to the 25. So, I, I mean, I think some teams are going to kick it to where it's going to be a lot more return balls because they know their kickoff team can get them inside the 20 rather than just giving them an extra five yards from last year. How dangerous, how violent is the kickoff? I mean, I couldn't tell you. I mean, I think football is violent itself. You can't really, you can't really pinpoint, you know, a certain – um, position or a certain you know field team and say oh this is where 
you know, people are going to get hurt at. I mean, you can get hurt in football. You can get hurt doing anything. So you can't really say we're going to stop, you know, this from happening so it could be less injuries. I mean, if people are going to get hurt, they're just going to get hurt. But what about the sound? I, I told my guys that having been on the sidelines, and if I closed my eyes and just listened, I could tell – when there was a kickoff and when there was just a regular play. The the sound of a kickoff, the collisions on the kickoff are different than any other play. Do you agree? Uh, I mean, yes and no, because, you know, I'm the type of player that knows how to protect yourself. You know, that's how I was taught in college. You know, I was taught if you don't have to, you know, take a big hit, then don't take a big hit. You know, just fall to the ground and live to play another day. Um, so, you know, I'm not really back there taking a lot of big hits, you know, than I would had I ran across the middle or something at receiver. It's just being smart, knowing what you can get and knowing when to get down. So, I mean, you know, that's the type of thing that I use whenever I'm back there at kickoff. You know, there were some times where, you know, I did get hit, you know, because you're running full speed and, you know, anything that hits you at full speed, you know, you're going to be like, ooh, you know, that was a good hit or whatever like that. But like I said, it just goes with protecting, and it's the same way. You know, in football, a receiver, you know, you, you're going to get hit in certain ways. You're going to fall certain ways that you don't like. But like I said, it's football. It's just the sport of the game. Give me the tackle that was a welcome to the NFL tackle that maybe was different than getting tackled in college. Uh, I couldn't really tell you which one. I mean, if I could pick any, you know, I'd probably just pick um, when we played against the Rams, just because I think the Rams were probably one of the hardest hitting teams that I played against. So not one tackle in particular, just the entire game itself. Yeah, I think you know the entire game itself. Um, if I was on offense or defense, I, th- I mean, or special teams, I think they they did a good job in in tackling and stuff like that. But you know, for the most part, it wasn't any different than college, just because, like I said, I knew how to protect myself when it came to getting hit real good and stuff. Did you know that uh, there's only one other rookie in history to have at least five receiving touchdowns, a punt return touchdown, and a kickoff return for a touchdown as a rookie? Yes, and I and he went to my rival school, <laughs> Gale Sayers. Yeah, yep. yep. that's pretty good company there, Tyler. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, you know, I'm blessed to be able to be a part of the, the discussion when it came to it because Carol actually had texted me a um, – a highlight that I still have yet to watch, so I need to watch it when I get off the phone of Gail Sayers when he was back in the league playing. So I think it would be pretty good to see, you know, what he was about to kind of see what, you know, the comparison was all about. Oh, man. If he shows you the highlight of when Gail Sayers, I think he scored six touchdowns against the 49ers in a, <laughs> in a variety of ways. Like, he'll the cuts that Gail Sayers made, like Barry Sanders comes close to that, but Gail Sayers, yeah. yeah, Gail Sayers was breaking ankles before people had the term breaking ankles. Oh, man. So I got to go watch yes, this. Yes, you year. do. You do. You're going to go, <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, hey, enjoy the offseason. Great to catch up with you. And congrats on the start of your season, uh, you know, your career. Hey, thank you so much. I hope you all have a good day as well. All right. That's Tyler Lockett.